All right, guys, welcome to the mobile optimization section. So here we're going to talk all about mobile optimization, tablet optimization, strategies to use, and you know just things to watch out for. So right here, I'm going to click on Edit with Elementor. All right, so we have this section right here. Now to look how it, you know, to see how it looks on mobile, you want to click this computer right here and go to Tablet. So go ahead and scroll down, and if everything looks good to your website, feel free to leave it. If it doesn't, then go ahead and change it. Now, one thing I want to look at is this section right here. You know, I don't really want this section. So right here on this section right here, I'm going to go to advanced, go to responsive, and I want to disable this on tablet and mobile. The reason why is because I don't really care if people out there see these on mobile or tablet. You know, I don't want this section to show for mobile users. Have you ever been to like skype.com or another website on mobile and it looks completely different than their actual desktop website? That's exactly what we're doing here. So right here, I'm gonna click on save. So I don't want this to show up. So let's go ahead and scroll down. This looks pretty decent actually. You know, I'm surprised. Usually there's a lot more work, but let's go ahead and see how it looks on mobile. I guarantee you on mobile, it's gonna need work. You know, it always needs works on mobile. So let's go and scroll up. Ah, right here. So this doesn't really make sense. You know, welcome to revolution. It's, it's, it's too high up, you know, and it doesn't really make sense. Also, this is kind of out of whack. So let's go ahead and go to advanced. And I wanna go ahead and add a top margin of maybe like 100. Or no, let's do 50. There you go. That looks much better, right? So now you can see that this section is, is pushed down. And maybe this button right here needs to be aligned right here. So I think that looks a little bit better than it does as well. And also for this other button right here that's hidden behind it. Now there's a few things we can do. We can just disable the button or we can, you know, uh, push this down more to make it show. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and disable this button because... I don't want to give the user too many buttons on his phone because they're a lot bigger and he might not see what it is. So under responsive right here, I'm just going to go ahead and say, you know, we're going to hide it. So now the user can only see the start. And honestly, this is a much cleaner idea than having two buttons that are like overlapping each other, right? So over here, again, maybe you want to go ahead and center this text. So you can center it. And then here, same thing, we can go ahead and center it. Because remember, the user can't, the user can't really understand our websites I mean, I'm sure he looks from a computer, he'll be like, oh, I get the style, but if he sees it like this right here, everything's straight and forward, this is clean, this is very easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it like that. Now again, you can do the same thing for this bottom section right here. So scrolling down here, does everything look okay to you guys? I think so. Remember this section is disabled on tablet and mobile. I hope Elementor will actually release a patch where they make it white out, because for the Divi theme, it's actually white out, so you can understand if it's disabled or not. Ah, here we go, right here. This section right here is too big. So let's go ahead and reduce the size of it. No experience needed. And then again, right here, we can go ahead and say, um, you know, this is actually, this is actually fine. Maybe we can make the text a little bit smaller. We'll, we'll center it. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, actually, you know what, let's see what we can do here. There's a lot of different ways that we can go about this. But um, I think for this section right here, we can add like a top margin or something of like, let's see, add 50, 50, 50. No, that will not work. Okay, so I think that basically uh, it looks it's it's better like that. But remember, video backgrounds will not play on any iOS device. So make sure that you have to add in a different background to this. Okay, so if you guys remember, mobile users cannot see uh, all that stuff. Okay, so I'm just reminding you all that it doesn't work. Another way you guys can probably just fix this section is just disable it. You know, because this section right here. I remember users that are on mobile can't see video, so let's just go ahead and disable it. You know, it's it's too messy, and I'm just saying, you know what? I want a simple website. The, the smaller your website is on mobile, the better, because people are gonna have to scroll a lot on their phone. You know, from a desktop, it looks very different, right? But for a phone, they have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and they're gonna say, you know what? This site's way too long, it's way too big. I'm leaving, you know, I'm leaving this site, it's way too big. So scrolling down here. So we have this section right here, we have we bring something special and we have these two things right here. Now remember earlier how we had these as background but we added just a small um, a module to basically let people see the background on mobile. So I'm sorry, on desktop. So this section right here needs some work, right? We have this section and it doesn't really look good. Now one section I do wanna talk about that you guys probably saw but you guys probably didn't understand was this section right here under responsive which is the reverse columns. So if I click on reverse columns right there, it's gonna put this picture on top and this picture on top of this. Now by default, it comes like this. And I'm really glad this page builder introduced this because this was actually a big problem for a lot of other page builders because on mobile, no matter what you did, it would come out like that and it sucked, you know? So right here, I'm gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna rever reverse these. 
And here we can actually put some text and make it a little bit bigger. So right here, let's say you want to add some, um, you know, we can just make this a little bit bigger. We can go ahead and say, um, we can change the height right here. So the height, minimum height, we can kind of increase the height. Let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry, for the heading right here. We'll want to go ahead and increase the um, the heading size. So again, we'll go to this and we'll, we'll just add some margin. You know, we'll just add like 100 to it. There you go. So we can do it like that. Or another good way is you guys can reduce the, or just, just get rid of this section altogether. Say, you know what, I don't want a picture here. So under advanced, I'm gonna go ahead and go to responsive and say, I don't want this on, I don't want to show this. But that's if you decide to have that. So if you like this look, um, you know, feel free to have it. If not, you guys can just disable that. And then as a result, you just have this section. And then, you know, maybe you could, you know, get rid of it. It really depends because you'll have to basically go over here and increase the margin on it to make it look like somewhat decent, you know? So you guys can do it like that, or you guys can just go ahead and disable that section altogether, okay? Scrolling down, all right, everything looks pretty good. All right, so remember that section was disabled on mobile, so don't worry about this section. Sometimes these these, these really skinny sections are just really hard to, to show up on mobile, so it's better off just to get rid of it because it just, it's just not needed, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't even play, um, you know, it doesn't even play the, the mobile or the, the video anyways on mobile. So as you guys can see now, that section right now, that video section is gone. So this is a perfect preview of what your customers will see. So simple, easy, perfect, looks really good, right? Except for that logo, but uh, don't worry, that logo will actually shrink when you actually go into it on, it's not gonna show up that same size. So it's just doing that because that's the logo of the size on our media, okay? So let's go ahead and go to another page. Let's go ahead and go to dashboard. And let's go ahead and go to another page and let's let's see if we can find something really hairy, you know, really, really bad that we just really need to work. I guarantee you on this page, <laughs> we're gonna have to change something, you know? So I'm gonna go to edit with Elementor. All right, and I'm gonna go over here and go to tablet. Now, I didn't really optimize this section at all for tablet, but looking at it, oh, this section right here. So this section right here, it has, these are so clustered together. Um, as a result, we'll either have to remove this whole section or we will have to make these very, very small. Now, my personal advice is to just get rid of this section because honestly, it's too, it's too clumped together. You know, it's just not gonna work for mobile users. So over here, I'm gonna go to responsive and hide this right there. Okay, and we'll go to save. All right, let's keep scrolling down. Now this section right here. So again, this section right here will not appear on mobile users, but I have actually a really good strategy that I wanna show you all that I've actually used in the past for another tutorial. So basically, look, this section doesn't work, right? But let's just say you really, really want this section. So go ahead and just duplicate this section. Let's see how we can do this right here. All right, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and do the, um, go on the desktop. Now this is a really cool strategy. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this, all right? Now this section right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a background, all right? And I kinda want you guys to, to understand the, um, the logic behind this, okay? So let's just say, for example, that this is a video background, okay? And this will not play. So here, I'll give you guys a, um, or I'll, I'll do something like this here. No experience needed. This is mobile. And then right here, but this is computer. Okay, so what you guys can do is that if you have a video background and it just it's not working out, you can actually disable this section for computer and you can disable this section for tablet and mobile users. Okay, so let me give you a better understanding. Okay, so right here, this is for the computer, this is for the mobile. Now, this is great for video background. So remember, if this is a video background, that this will not show up. So you basically want to accommodate that for mobile users. So try to understand the logic here. I, I know this might be confusing, but uh, I'm gonna have to show you anyways because I wanna make sure that if you guys have a website, it's working properly. So right here, this is for computer, and then this is for the mobile. So I wanna actually disable this section right here for the computer. Oh, I'm sorry, this section right here. Advanced, responsive, and I wanna go ahead and um, no, I'll disable this one right here for the computer, okay? So the logic is, guys, this section will not show on tablets or mobile users, okay? So it will not show. Now for this section, I wanna go ahead and say, you know what? Oh, the blue section again, sorry. Advanced, 
responsive, and hide on the desktop. So the, the logic here, guys, is that if you have a section right here that you want to show on computer and then one on tablet, basically this section right here will play on computers. This section right here will play on mobile. But people on computers will not see this, and people on mobile will not see this section. And this is the best idea if you have a video background section. You will need to make another section for it, okay? So let's see if I give you guys an example of the mobile. And I'm gonna go ahead and trick it down. So I see how it says this is mobile. So you see the other part where the computer is gone. So basically the part where the computer is, is gone. So uh, this is the best alternative if you are trying to have video backgrounds. Now let's go ahead and fix that section right there. That looks pretty ugly, you know? Cause I, I only use it for the, uh, I only showed how it looked on tablet, let's see right here. So tablet, it looks okay. But um, for the mobile, we'll need to change this right here for mobile. We need to make sure that this is hidden. So again, you guys, remember to if you if you make it bigger like that, uh, remember that's that's the after effect. So right here, that other computer part was gone. Okay, but if you open this, it's going to show up. Okay, so uh, just make sure you don't get fooled that you're like, oh, I thought I disabled it. it. It is disabled. This part is disabled. It will not show up. Just this part will. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and center this, and let's go ahead and make the size a little bit bigger. This is mobile, and there you go. You know we can change we can change these things, but um. I think that's fine, you know, I think that's okay. Scrolling down here, these are all okay. Meet the team, this looks all okay. Now this section right here, you might not need all of these. You know, you might not need all of these, so uh, you can probably just disable, you, know, you can probably disable this section. You know, I don't think you really need it, but uh, if you want to have these, you can go ahead and probably get rid of these on, on, the, um, on, the, uh, on this section right here. Now the problem with this, guys, is that uh, you guys can actually delete the pictures right here. So uh, as a result, you're going to have to basically, um, oh, you know, you can, sorry. So for these images right here, you guys can go ahead and delete them all. So let's say, for example, you just want this one and you don't need these ones. So one, two, and three, you don't need them. Just go and click on this one right here, advanced, and then again, responsive, and then hide on the, hide on the, um, hide on the tablet and the mobile. Okay. So hope you guys understand that. Sorry guys, it's kind of late. So if I, uh, <laughs> if I go over or something like that, it's like it's like four in the morning here. So uh, again, responsive, I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. But that's kind of like my schedule. You know, my schedule is actually really late. So right here, responsive, disable these, okay? So now let's go ahead and take a look at it on our mobile, our mobile device. All right, so now you can see those other images are gone and we just have this one right here. And if we scroll up right here, you see where it says, this is mobile. And the other part where it says this computer is gone. So that is a very good idea. Now this section right here, you know, it's kind of, you know, it kind of doesn't work out. You know, you guys can see that's on mobile. It just doesn't really, it doesn't make any sense. You know, it doesn't make any sense. So maybe right here we can go ahead and, um, you know, fix this part. Maybe we can actually use the reverse option I think they have right here. The reverse columns. That might work. So now this section's on top and these are on bottom. But... Do you really need this section? Do you really, really need it here? Probably not. You know, you probably don't need these number counters either because, I mean, it depends. It really depends on what you really want your customers to see. Uh, I would disable these ones right here. So remember to disable the module, click on this one right here, advanced, and then again, responsive, and get rid of those ones, okay? But if you wanna get rid of the whole column, you'll have to click on the um, this section right here, advanced, responsive, and that will disable it for that section right there, okay? So, um, oh, that's really ugly, oof. Oof, it has to go. Imagine if someone came to your website and they saw that. They're going to be like, well, were you drunk when you made this website, you know? So we need to make sure that uh, this is, you know, it's, it's fully optimized. So let's go ahead and change the size. And there you go. So that looks a little bit better. We can make the weight. Oh, no, the weight will change it. So 300 was perfect. And there you go. That's a really clean, that's a really clean about us page. You know, about and then blah, voila. Okay, scrolling down. Anything else? Remember this section will not show up, so just ignore that. You know, uh, I hope they change that, I really do, you know, because it's really annoying because if I actually view it, it disappears. But if I open this part, it shows up again. You know, they should have it like grayed out, you know, right, grayed out. So make sure to write Elementor and say, hey guys, you know, make sure to grayed out so when we're doing mobile optimization, uh, you, you can, you know, know better. And guys, this is so important because Google just released a huge update and now they rank 
websites based off how well your site is optimized for mobile. So it's extremely important because if you decide to make the site and you don't optimize it for mobile, guys, you will your site will only not look like crap, but it will not be found either. So um, this section of the tutorial, guys, is very, very important. Do not ignore mobile optimization. Many people do. Many, many people do. And it can destroy your website. It really can because, you know, sites are, are, are ranked based off your, um, your optimization. So let's go ahead and view page. So that was actually pretty simple, guys. You know, it looks really, really good now. And as you guys go back, nothing was changed. You know, nothing was changed on the computer. So it was only for the mobile users and the uh, tablet users as well, okay? So I hope this section was very helpful, guys. Um, again, you know, you always wanna make sure it's optimized for mobile. It's very important. You know, go to every single page, go to your blog post, go everywhere with your phone. You know, open up your phone right now and go to the website and say, does this look good? You know, uh, is, is this acceptable? Will people like it? And you have, you know, some decent judgment so you can make these own decisions, okay? So now let's go ahead and go to the last section. We're gonna talk about the contact us page and we're gonna talk about closing thoughts and future videos. All right.